Hi everybody, my name is Jared Siskin. I'm the author of lots of books. Jazz Piano Fundamentals. Jazz Piano Fundamentals. Playing solo, nope. How'd that happen? Playing solo jazz piano. Uh, check it all out, jeremysiskin.com slash shop. Today I wanna show you a little, uh, I don't know if it's a game exactly, activity maybe, um, that I call Rhythm Generator. And if you're wanting to write some funky rhythms, um, this is maybe a good way to get started, to kind of explore, to find some new territory. Um, and so this can be the kind of thing that might inspire a new tune. It might be kind of a fun thing to create some rhythmic etudes for yourself to practice. It might be a good thing to inspire you from an improvisation uh, perspective. So um, let's jump into it. And so basically the way that this game or activity is gonna work is that we're gonna consider three different aspects of a repeated rhythm, okay? And um, we might start with just two of the three, but there are kind of these three different ones. So one is what is the, the basic rhythm? So like what's the rhythmic unit? How often is it repeating? Stuff like that. So an example of a basic rhythm might be like two quarter notes. Boom, boom, right? It might be a quarter and two eighths. It might be three eighth note triplets and a quarter note. So those are all two beats. It doesn't necessarily have to be two beats, but I would probably keep that basic rhythm short. Okay. Second thing is repetition frequency. So for instance, you know, those two quarter notes, we could repeat them every two beats, in which case we'd get just all quarter notes, it'd be a pretty boring rhythm. We could also repeat them every three beats. So we'd be kind of adding a rest, right? So if we wanted to, we're gonna do this in four four for now, but you can try it in any meter that you like. Right, we could have this repeated quarter note rhythm repeating every three beats. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Same thing, we could have, you know, the second rhythm repeating every three beats. Am I doing that right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Yes, I am. I am doing it right. Woo. Uh, third rhythm. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right? Um, if your basic rhythm has an even number of beats, it's gonna be nice to repeat it in an odd number of beats. It's gonna make it more interesting. If your repeated rhythm has an odd number of beats, you can kind of choose whatever. It'll, it'll work out pretty well. Okay, so you got your basic rhythm, then you've got the repetition frequency, because these are all gonna be kind of loop rhythms. And then the third thing is your melody. Okay, we're gonna have repeated melodies for now, and I'll show you some ways that you could eventually manipulate them. But let's, let's say we're gonna use a three note melody. Because one of the things that I think people misunderstand about rhythm or don't understand is that melody and shape and repetitions of melody also create rhythmic interest, right? So for instance, like Glenn Miller's In the Mood is just such a great example. It, the rhythm is all eighth notes. Da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. Da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. But the rhythm is. It's got, it repeats every three notes, right? So that ends up making it really interesting. Same thing um, with the Maple Leaf Rag. Right? Or the second section is an even better example. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Right? It's got octaves every three notes. So the repetition of the rhythm, uh, sorry, the cycle of the melody makes it really rhythmically interesting. So now if I take this idea here, because this is nice and simple, and I'm going to cycle this through. And so that's now not going to line up with the bar lines. It's not going to line up with the repetition of the rhythm. Okay. 
So we've got now. Kind of cool. What if we do that same thing with the final rhythm here, with, with this rhythm? Okay, so. Right, and then we're gonna go ba do do bum do 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 da rest ba do do bum rest ba do 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 rest. So let's see what happens. doesn't seem to me quite as compelling because we're always kind of starting and ending on the same note. But you know, this is just kind of fun to play around with. So let's try just an example together of coming up with something. So let's see, I'll make that bigger for you. All right, so our basic rhythm, let's make it a dotted quarter notes because that's kind of kind of be interesting. And we're gonna do just constant dotted quarter notes. Da, da. And we'll repeat it. Let's see, so three dotted quarter notes makes it four and a half beats. Okay, so this, um, but let's not make it even, let's add a beat. So we're gonna repeat it every five beats. Okay, so if I'm notating this rhythm, well, here, let me put in, um, Number two is going to be every five beats is going to be the amount of repetition. Okay, so let's write out a version with no melody first. This is already kind of going to be, I think, pretty interesting. So here's where our rhythm's repeating. It's like two dotted quarters and one half note. So it's going to be very much like we're in 5-4. So I'm sure this is just great content watching a dude write. So there we go, that's three beats plus two. So we're creating this interesting five against four rhythm, at least I think it's kind of interesting. So one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, three. It's very easy to get lost on where one, two, three, and four are. So I'm gonna try it with half notes in my feet. One, two, three, four. Kind of fun. You're really hearing the five against four, I hope. And so then if we want to take it to the next level, then we're going to add some sort of a cyclic rhythm. And I'll tell you what, let's make the rhythm really simple, or sorry, a cyclic melody is what I mean to say. And let's make the melody just like super simple and let's make it a bass line. And we're just gonna have the notes C and G, right? And this is gonna kind of be cool, I think, because this is like a three, three time pattern. So we're gonna kind of, you know, be going against the grain as we just have two notes. Do, do, do. And then the second time we start the pattern, we'll start on the G. Boo. Do, boo. And then we'll be back to the C. And that's starting the pattern again. All right. You know, if this isn't how you want to spend your Christmas vacation, like, I just, I don't understand you as a person.
ends up really feeling like it's in five. One, two, do, 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 uh, 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 uh. So that's kind of a cool rhythm we created. We. You know, you could take some of the credit. I wouldn't be doing it if it weren't for you. Let's try one more before um, before I end the video. Um, so let's try. How about? Let's do uh, quarter note triplets. Da 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 da. Okay, so we'll do quarter note triplets to two eighths, and we're gonna make that okay, quarter note triplets to two eighths. So that's itself a three beat pattern. So that's our number one, but I wanna make it into a three and a half beat pattern. So I'm gonna add basically an eighth rest here. I'll let you see that bigger. So I never know how to uh, correctly write triplets across the bar line, but you're gonna see me try and fail <laughs> because that's what's required of me here. So there's three beats. Again, if we're gonna be in four, four, this is somehow gonna be a triplet going across the bar line. I don't know how to really notate that correctly, but I'm gonna try it like, I'm gonna do it really sloppily like that. So that takes me now to the end of two. Oh boy, I got myself into more than I can handle here. <laughs> See, I'm learning from doing this. Kids do try this at home, but try easy rhythms first. Okay, so. All right, so this here is one, two, three, and four, and one, two and three, four, which means, that, yeah, this takes up a beat and that's right on beat two. Great, <laughs> this couldn't be going better. So then this is beat three. And then this is the and of three. Whew, I don't really know how to write this rhythm correctly. So what is this? Da, 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 da. Yeah, and so you might be asking or wondering like, okay, so this is clearly in 7-8. Why not just write this in 7-8? Well, then it's actually not that interesting of a layer. So imagine that you're playing... There's not really rhythmic tension if the main rhythm is going with the um, with the kind of rhythmic interest, with the rhythmic cycles, right? The whole point, you know, all of jazz, this is an oversimplification, but all of jazz is based on hemios. It's all based on rhythms that don't fit evenly into the overall meter. So that's why, you know, I'm encouraging you to not just make the 7-8, to actually make it go over the bar line. Um, and then let's repeat a, a four note pattern. Do, 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 do. So we're going. <laughs> Please, nobody fact check me on that rhythm. That was, there's no way that was correct. So. It's like gonna be a number one single. Um, <laughs> and Taylor Swift, if you wanna call me and use that, like feel free. Um, cool, I hope that uh, you try this and you come up with some interesting new rhythm. I think it's a really nice way to generate some new rhythmic sparks, some new rhythmic ideas. Oftentimes for me, this is really good 
not necessarily for a melody, but for a bass line or like a counter melody accompanying part kind of a thing. So uh, thanks for watching. If you watched this far, why don't you say number one hit? <laughs> and uh, if you like this kind of like brainy nerdy thing, I think you'd probably like playing solo jazz piano. There's a lot of real nerdy stuff in that book. Thanks for watching everybody.